Hey guys, Terry here, and welcome back to Terraformacraft. I have been out exploring, I have been far and wide, I've been searching distant lands, and I finally found one little chicken. That's all I found. I got a handful of feather, I ate the chicken on the way back, but I got a handful of feathers. So that means we could technically start using this thing, but... Again, we have the forge out here, and in order to work any metal, you need to heat it up first. So that means you need to put it in the forge and f uh, light that bitch up. But um, standing out here to smith stuff is not really the most ideal thing because you would constantly get swarmed by zombies who keep spawning more zombies and more zombies, and that skeleton is gonna kill me. He would like to at least get in the sun, bastard. There we go. Oh, and a bow. Nice. Alright. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dedicate this episode to building this blacksmith. And we're going to make it a nice one. But to make it a proper, properly nice one, um, I've decided that I actually want to use the wood from those trees over there. So, let's head over there and have a look at what, how that looks. Like, the main reason I want to use it is that it's a very nice dark color. Which... Um, gives a very, very good contrast to the um, the white of the granite. So, as you can see here, very nice. Like, it looks a bit like normal spruce wood, really. Let's see if I can reach a sapling from down here. And, whoops. I think I might have gotten... Nope, no saplings. Oh well. Next three. Let's chop this down and then rinse and repeat a couple of times. I'm not gonna, don't worry, I'm not gonna make you guess it through all of this uh, wood chopping. But seeing last trees fall down does give a certain satisfaction, so... I'll see if we can get a sapling from this one. I can reach a bit higher here. Maybe. There we are. That's a sapling. Alright, what wood is this actually? It's stockless fir. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to cut down a bunch of these trees, and then when I feel like I have enough log, we'll go back and start building. See you in a bit. Alright, I have nearly six stacks of these things now, so hopefully that should be enough. Um, in terms of building this thing, the way I normally build stuff is that I try to... Um, anyone who's watched my Greg Tech Let's Play, or introduction at least, will know that I try to make sure that whatever I do, it looks as though it might actually exist in the real world, so that it would be, like, if it's a big building like this, it would be supported, for instance. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here as well. Now, the chimney here, I'm perfectly happy with this sticking out, but I do feel like I need to start a pillar here. And I also kind of want to get a pillar all the way over here, actually. Because then we'll have, um, you come up here, and then you go through a little gate or something into a little enclosed area with some fences around, um, which is basically the outdoors. Um, then you have an archway going into the house here. You can go around the corner, get over to the smithing area, which is like in here. So that would necess necessitate a pillar right there as well. Um, and like this little covered area here doesn't have to be too big. Like, I'm perfectly happy just having it, um, like, a couple of blocks like this, so we... And then out in this direction, so we would have a door. And the door needs to have a thing on each, yeah, either side. Um, and then finally a support beam. Let's see, how big is the distance here? Four blocks, three blocks there. Um, and between here and the forge. Let's see, three, four. Alright, there. And then the forge, of course, was going to be determining where this pillar goes. So we'll have a similar one over here. Now, this might look like a lot of pillars um, immediately, and it, it is. Granted, it is. Like, it's a, quite a narrow passage here, but then again, having storage over here, for instance, wouldn't be a, such a bad thing. And once we get, a, get the walls up, um, I reckon it's going to look a lot better. And then finally, um, I would like to actually extend this one more block, so we need some sand, or uh, sand, dirt. We need some filth. Good thing we have plenty of filth. Cover that up. Did I hear a zombie? 
thought I heard a li tiny zombie. Oh well. Um, and right here. And that of course means we need to put one in the corner here. And now the area in between. We have two ways we can do this. Either we can mirror the door, or we can try and say, okay, f what? how big is the distance actually? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I reckon the safest bit is to just mimic the door here. That also gives us the option of having a back entrance. Alright, so this is how it's going to be on the inside. It might look a bit strange now, but don't worry, as soon as we start putting in some bricks, it'll all make sense. Speaking of bricks, let's go grab them. We don't need the filth anymore. So, granite bricks there and there. Let's just put the wheat in there. And let us see if we can make this work. Now, building in Terraformacraft, um, once you have the correct materials, it's pretty much just the same as building in Minecraft. Vanilla. I need a pickaxe. Uh, swap those around. I should probably keep this axe on me, actually, to get rid of locks if I place one of those wrong, but... No matter. Now... This is actually going to look a bit strange, because we have three blocks, three blocks, and then we go over to four blocks here. That is going to look a bit strange. We'll figure some. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Don't worry. A uh, bit light over there. I think for now we're gonna, not going to go with the back entrance. As you can see, this is going to take a lot of locks. Um, and a lot of um, bricks for that matter. Let's see, get the pillars up a bit. We need to get them up in a certain height before I can start doing cross beams. Can I make this jump? Whoa! Yes. Just. One more here, and almost there, almost there. Mm, there we go. Alright, that's starting to look a bit more like it. Now we need to put in a ton of these bricks. Um, as a rule of thumb, I like to, from the inside, cover up the corner pillars like this, um, and then put the windows in between. And then, of course, if, depending with whether something needs pillars, um, or needs windows, rather. But right now, this one needs a lot of windows, so let's get a bunch more granite. Get the chisel. That's not what I meant to do there. And we need to make mortar as well. So we need sand. Put the quarter in there, get some sand. We need some crushed limestone, some flux. Uh, I think we have it all right there. And then we need water. You've seen this before. You take the bucket with water, you take the flux, and you take the sand and put on top. Then you rinse and repeat. It's gonna take a bit of time to do this with only one bucket, so I think I'm actually gonna make another one. And there we go. And then I need to clear some inventory space. I'll be right back while I do that. Alright, that's a bunch more granite bricks uh, prepared, so let us continue the build. Again, I just don't feel like there's any reason to bore you guys with watching me put those bricks together, so... Yeah, you don't have to. That's the brilliance, brilliance of it. Alright, um, now this is generally how I start all my builds. I have some sort of foundation. Um, that I build upon. Right now I'm, I'm just term uh, saying, okay, all brick. Mm, if I was a bit more fancy, I would maybe use a different color brick for the bottom bit, um, but for now, at least materials are still a bit scarce. So, 
what I prefer to do now is basically cap off all the windows and depending on what materials I have available um, I, t I just tend to use different things for this um, but I believe that for, for now it'll look best if we stick it stick to bricks so just one more layer of bricks up here and these, these rules uh, go for vanilla minecraft as well like the way I built there try to make sure that everything fits together make sure that it looks as though it could exist in the real world because that's the best way to immerse yourself that it doesn't br break with the laws of physics that um, you know from your everyday life. That's something I, f I believe that game artists and such have a hell of a time uh, trying to achieve in games as well. That's the stuff that they make doesn't break with the people's expectations. So if if you have to go into a church, then the building has to look like a church, for instance. Alright, I uh, need a couple of ladders, because that makes it a lot easier to build. So let us put those up right about here. That allows to go up here. Now, a lot of medieval-style buildings um, tend to like hang out a bit over their f um, foundation layer. It gives a bit of depth to the how uh, to the building. It also gives a bunch of um, um, extra room as well to use. So, like that, that's another thing that I sometimes do. Um, for this one, as I mentioned before, I kind of want to cover this bit as well. Uh, but I was thinking maybe just cover it with the roof actually. Um, but again, the question is how exactly exactly to do the roof here. Because I've given this house a rather strange shape. Um, yeah, as you can see, zombies coming out whenever I'm around. So hopefully he can't reach me here. So think, 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 think. Um, I think the way I'm going to do the roof is I'll have it um, mimic this one over here. So it'll curve up this way, curve down again on the other side continue in and then this will be the main roof so it'll have the same shape but it'll have the ends here and then go across like that so the other one will go into that um, the question is whether I want to do a second story and I believe that I do because this is a big building and I want it to remain a big building so to speak now in order to make a second story we need some something to make the floor out of up here uh, you're a bit annoying down there. Can't reach you. Um, so what should we make the floor out of up here? I have a bit of extra wood. Um, like while searching for the chicken, I came across a different kind of wood that I don't have back home here. The birch wood, which I put in a large pile right on the inside here. And I believe that if we take the saw, yoink, and chop this stuff up we should get some pretty decent planks. Ugh, the whole inventory space thing again. It's because these mobs keep dropping shit for me to pick up. Like that, that's the main thing I'm annoyed with. Um, that I get all these useless items like the, the rotten flesh which has no use that I know of at all. Um, and then the constant noises of the mobs. Come on. So, birch planks gives these. Uh, I wonder, is the default slab still in place? Nope, it's not. But okay, so, six locks gave us, what, twelve planks. And if I, if I were to place these on this level down here, it would l look wrong because they're not really that big or like like the um even though each tile is like a 1 meter in each direction um this room would feel cramped if i reduced it to just 3 high so that's my second rule of thumb that i always make rooms 4 high that means these things have to go up here instead now you'll notice i put these above the pillar that that has to do with the other thing i mentioned that i tend to or medieval builds um tend to have some sort of... Can I not place this on the side? Oh yeah, I can. 
Oh, I did not want it facing that way. Saw. And yes, you can break single blocks with the saw. It's actually, I think, maybe even a bit faster than the uh, the default one, or the the, the axe. So I will do it like this, um, and then the question is whether what would look best, whether I did with the, like locks across here, or whether it would look best with bricks like that. And I think the locks would look the best, so I'm going to go with that. This is going to increase the usage of locks quite a bit. But, um, I mean, it looks pretty good from where I'm standing. So, again, you have to remember if we just go inside quickly here. We are going to have pillars in the corner, and then we're going to put bricks there. So it'll be like this. Alright, so if we jump down here again and have a look, you can see how it's going to look there. And you see, that's that's pretty nice. That, that looks really good. So, this is what I'm going to continue with. Then over here, in any case, where we are going to need to have a pillar here to support whatever roof we decide to put above this. Ow. So yeah, that's got, that's got to happen. Now, birch planks are really going to be the the hurting point here because I don't think we'll have enough to cover the entire second story here. But we're going to have to make do. Otherwise, I, I'm gonna just gonna go and grab some more. We're also not likely to have enough of this uh, Douglas fir wood. Just saying. Whoops. Stupid me. So yeah, bu Minecraft building tutorials with the um, the mod in the game which, or the mod for the game that makes getting materials the hardest possible. That's bound to be time efficient, huh? Um, I'm gonna pause the recording for a bit, continue construction just a wee bit so I can show you guys a bit more of what I have planned for the final look of it. So, see you in a second. Alright, I have continued construction just a wee bit so you guys can see what kind of I'm, I'm aiming for. Um, so, from various angles, uh, the door looks a bit strange right now. I can... I'll, I'll, I'll admit to that. Um, I might have to move the staircase over one block. Um, we'll, we'll figure something out there, because I don't think I can make this part any narrow on, unless it's um, without it looking really, really strange. Um, potentially I could just remove these two things up here, I uh, think that might actually fix the door. Anyway, um, what I wanted to do right now was actually show you guys a bit of what the chisel can do. So we have this forge here and it looks really boring, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple more bricks to it so it's pretty much impossible to reach now. But then we're going to use this chisel here, um, and we are going to make make some magic. I don't think... Yeah, let's go with this. I don't think we can make corner stairs, no. So let's go with this. And then we're going to use this one. Now, what I want to do is pretty much um, make this look a bit more like a proper um, fireplace kind of deal. So, as you can see, it's already looking a lot better. Now, if we carve in a bit here and there, like this, and then narrow these a bit more maybe on the inside as well see that's much much better I can't I don't think I can touch this block here otherwise uh, the forge will end up being damaged but I guess you can see it's just a turned off forge right now um, let's see at the moment it's a bit unsymmetrical uh, it's, it's symmetrical enough but um, I think we want to shave a bit more off these guys like that. There are still uh, there are symmetrical above the block beneath them, underneath them now, so that's good. But yeah, that's um, one way that you can use the uh, the chisel to like give a bit more structure to your houses. Um, the same thing can be done with the windows actually, um, where instead of having these boring bricks appear, you could actually make them into into stairs. 
and that would look fine with the or look pretty good with the um the window panes but until we get those put in i think we're just going to keep it as it is now but as you can see there's plenty of room for improvement with the um like the chimney here as well um we can do a lot of fun stuff with the chisel here one other completely ridiculous thing that you can do with it is actually um let me see. I have a block of basalt that kind of looks metal-ish. There we are. I'm going to try something with this. Just as a final thing. Um, like any respect, re self-respecting blacksmith has an, has an anvil outside somewhere. So I'm going to make an anvil out of this block here. And the way I'm going to do this is using this tool here. So, now, this is going to be a freeform anvil, pretty much. But you can kind of see the, the whole point that you chisel away little bits at a time, trying to make the shape that you want. So, I'm just, at the moment, trying to remember, as best as I can, how an anvil should look. Um, now, this might end up looking absolutely horrible to you guys. But... Um, that's the price you pay for watching my videos. <laughs> Again, this is a kind of a fiddly process. I think it uses a lot of durability on the chisel itself, so it's not something you really want to be doing a lot of, but it can be used to make some pretty interesting shapes. Again, I'm just shaving away layer by layer here, trying to get the shape that I want as much as I can. And that's, um, yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. I'm just trying to think here. Um, if we go like this, and like this, keep going down layer by layer and then hopefully we'll end up having a an anvil like shape like I know I could just place the anvil outside the, the actual, actual useful one but for some, for some reason I think this is more fun like just carving out your own making it a bit unique uh... Let's get this bit as well. Yups, that was not good. There's a little dent in it now. Um, right there. And I think I have... I need to remove these three on either side. Like, this is a... Did I just... Nick it once more. It's really hard to see with the texture. Um, let's see. It's yeah. It's really hard to see with the texture. I think that looks pretty, pretty, pretty anvilish. Um, oh, there's an error there. And I think I want to remove these two as well. And actually bring it a bit more in like that. And it has a little nick there, so I don't know if I want to just repeat those and repeat that. Yeah, let's let's take off the corners completely then. Like this. Yeah, that's 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 it. That's my anvil. And with that, I'm going to end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed me um building showing a bit off a bit more of the the chisel abilities and kind of just giving a bit more of a feel for how building actually is in this game. So, until next time, I'm Jerry and this has been Terraformacraft mod for Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.